Hey everybody, Mokana here, and yes, I am back. Um, I've been taking a break for quite some time because I want to reevaluate my channel, see what kind of content I want to do, and I'm also need to get new equipment. As you can possibly see from the top left corner of the screen, yes, I do have a new mic stand along with a pop filter. So that means the mic from my end is actually sounding a lot more better, and I actually adjusted my mic settings accordingly to make it you know, more professional, even though I'm not using not that good professional setup. But anyway, um, I'm glad to be back, I'm glad to be making more videos, and you're about to see um, gameplay videos from me sometime next week because of Yoshi's Crafted World. I was about to say Wooly World, no, Crafted World. Um, but for this video, we're going to be taking a look at PlayStation's State of Play video, which is basically their them copying Nintendo Direct. That's basically what it is. And as we transition over to my computer screen, I haven't even like played the video or even seen anything about it, even like stuff on social media or whatnot. But I get I can tell from the like to dislike ratio, uh <laughs> I have a bad feeling that this one might not be good to watch. Um so but anyway Let's get into this, go full screen, see if there's anything good about this. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Okay, that was kind of like a few seconds wasted. Time to Shanghai is 11 hours, 15 minutes. Told you we should have taken the faster flight. I think the board prefers you wear a more conventional suit to these company meetings. You can't outrun your past. What the hell? Friday, tell me I didn't just imagine that. Negative, sir. Sir, incoming! What is this? A little late, don't you think? Friday, suit up, now! Oh, it's art is a new Iron Man game, huh? Huh. This is an interesting way to start off of an Iron Man game. Any idea who we're up against? Yeah, this is a brand new Iron Man. So, hmm. Got like the way in the first. Yeah, it's almost like a first-person shooter. Even though you don't have a gun. Hmm. Oh, it's a VR game. Oh, okay. I thought they're gonna make it similar to the Spider-Man game that Insomniac made. Welcome to State of Play, hmm. a look ahead to the future of PlayStation. Throughout the year, State of Play will showcase upcoming games, updates, and announcements. And we've got plenty in store for our first episode. Yeah, this like is the basically their take on Nintendo Direct. VR, which is coming to PlayStation VR and in 2019 from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios, developer Camouflage, hmm. and Marvel Games. Up next, a fan favorite announces extra goodies for PS4 players. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is practically the same format style as the Nintendo Direct. And hold on a second. Let me make sure that the quality stays at the end. But yeah, I am excited for Crash Nitro um, to be coming back. Yeah, I got played a whole lot of Crash Nitro back when I was a kid. I'm excited for this. Uh, but I am getting it on Switch, I'm not getting it for PS4. Because it's actually all com it's, this is actually a multi-platform title instead of having it be a PlayStation exclusive. Like the insane trilogy was, so... But I'm glad that, to see that Crash Nitro is returning. Nitro fuel okay. The popular kart nitro. racer is due out June 21st. Now, let's shift gears. Yeah, Next we... up, the team at Hello Games beams us an oh, update no from Man's the Sky. No Man's Sky. Hmm. Like, I forgot that they changed No Man's Sky drastically. Like, I'm not sure if this game is still good. 
and they just added a VR mode. Like, I haven't seen the current state of No Man's Sky like this, and I'm not too sure if people have just gone over it. And I apologize now if the audio from the actual video itself is low. And I, this is at full throttle too. Uh, but at the same time, unlike Nintendo, where they got rid of the, their um, copyright it's a claims. Match made in heaven. This summer, has Hello not, Games so. plans to release No Man's Sky Beyond, a major update that adds, you guessed it, PlayStation VR support. And yep, the update will be free. Okay. <laughs> now let's get the world's first look at an upcoming game from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios and developer Robot Entertainment. What the You're heck seeing is this? first gameplay of Ready Set Heroes. This Ready, is a fast-paced multiplayer dungeon crawler that packs a big twist. Just so also, it is a brand Choose new from game. multiple playable characters, then launch into a randomly chosen hmm. dungeon to slay monsters, dodge traps, and collect mountains of loot. Now, here's the twist. You're actually competing against an opposing team who's uh. racing through an identical dungeon. Reaching the end of the dungeon will trigger a winner-take-all arena brawl. Hmm. The faster you progress through the dungeon, the more powerful you'll be when it's time to throw down. Ready Set Heroes had us hooked from the moment we picked up the controller. The combat feels crunchy and the loot flows like water. Huh. The final game is expected to support up to four players who's, across online multiplayer hey, and actually talking in the video? Sounds like perfect party game hmm. material. Look for Ready Set Heroes to hit oh, PS4 later this is, year. Like Next, let's get an update material. on the eagerly awaited PlayStation VR game first announced at Paris Games Week. I what marks. VR game is this? SAS Nomad Squad. You're facing multiple life sentences. Conspiracy. Arson. What PSVR game is this? More murders than we could even count. I just want to know what went down. Hmm. My name is Ryan Marks. I'm a soldier. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my day job. But it's always nice to come home. Spend some time with the family. Mum! Oh, for God's sake, what did I tell you? See some culture. Oh, that feels nice. I'm used to that but special forces stealth there, I mate. think Taking he spoke too much on Let's Paris Game Week. Let's find out what it's like. Catch up um, with some old friends. So I don't think know many of the announcements that uh, are uh, Sony or Microsoft made during Paris Game Week. Far from you. You can f*** off back to the army. I'm glad that was censored. <laughs> Oh, I think I broke a window. I really did not want my video to get demonetized. Even though I'm not even, we're looking for that. Even though this video's not even monetized anywhere. Anything will tell us what time is My subscriber reads. We need to push back hard or we finish. But I want to keep like a good reputation on the channel. Hope so. Average weekend, really. Like, here's the thing about me and VR. Oh, it's blood and truth. Okay. PlayStation VR heavyweight Blood and Truth finally has a confirmed release date, May 28th. That's okay. just around the corner. In fact, PlayStation VR players have a lot to get excited about this year. Here's a look at the next wave of PlayStation VR titles slated for 2019. Oh, this is like this next section is just VR titles? Oh, this is a real part of VR games, okay. Thankfully, they did the rest of them in this sense. <laughs> You can bring your oh, so. About to say, are those animals just gonna be in your way the entire time? Oh yeah, this is definitely the right place. Bring your like, I'm not too crazy when it comes to um, to VR because I really don't use VR that much anyway. I do have a PSVR. I never used it ever since, like, ever since after the first month I got it. So, and it's just sitting right underneath my desk. I mean, yeah. What game is this? Okay. Oh, it's from Devolver. Okay, so it must be like a smaller title. I don't think it's something that's major. Good 
Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. I need to know what is going mm. on. Sci-fi thriller game. The crew. But this looks like it, it's a brand new game that's never been announced. I've never seen this. Of course, I've never seen the actual stuff from PlayStation for like a couple months on for social media and stuff like that. The audio's quiet. Yeah, the audio's quiet. Oh my step. god. This is a full full volume. Observation. Is that the name of the game? Yeah, it's observation. Oh my Science god. Science fiction thriller Observation is coming soon to PS4, and it's bringing some serious development talent uh -huh. to its unusual and haunting premise. Our next game is a frightening new installment in a fan favorite series. Oh, FNAF. FNAF VR, holy crap. I played FNAF. Uh, and I'm. Um, like, I couldn't sleep for days after that. But I don't know how I feel about playing a VR version. Uh, I still can't believe that FNAF has somehow made its way to consoles. I thought the series was dead after the fourth game. Yeah, try playing that with on VR. You will. Here's some first footage. Sleep. You'll try to survive different levels from the original games, as well as all new nightmares. Oh, this is like a new take. It seems like you're just crawling around. Has picked up some unwanted friends. My God. To clear the infestation. My God. Hell no. Hell no. Like, I would not want to try to play this. I will probably... I will probably crap myself if I play this. Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Help Wanted, is the first virtual reality game in the Five Nights universe. And it's coming to PlayStation VR this spring. I don't feel... I don't know Next, about playing that one in particular because... a gorgeous adventure coming soon to PS4 from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. What game is this? I don't know how to pronounce that development studio's name. Pixelpis or Pixelpis? I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, what's this? Your little coloring book? Give me it. Oh, dear lord. I have a feeling I know this is where, Yep, this is exactly where it's gonna go. Oh, no. Can't find any friends, so. Hello? I have to make some. Uh. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting some. Audio. I just figured out my audio problem. There. Whoa! You're alive? Yeah, just figured out the audio problem from my end. Hey, over here. You want hmm. me to do that? To paint this whole town back to life. I don't want to sound mean, but I feel like like this this main protagonist is kind of autistic in a way. I don't want to sound mean, and this is coming from an autistic person too. Yeah, like I'm not afraid to admit it. But my, like seeing seeing that from that perspective.
Yeah, this Find game is now. very interesting. That darkness will just come back here. I can't let that happen. Concrete Genie. Okay. That's a pretty interesting game. Very interesting premise. Very interesting protagonist. Concrete Genie is a creative new adventure from developer Pixel Opus. And today, Pixel Opus. We can also That's how you pronounce that developer's name? VR mode. My. More details to come as Concrete Genie prepares for launch later <laughs> this year. Up next, That's... an update from the dangerous world of Days Gone. Oh, Days Gone. This game was supposed to be released long, long ago. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors. All like, Days Gone was announced three years ago. Shit like this didn't matter anymore. And yet, here we are. Still we hasn't released yet. Without Sarah, I knew that we were... Leaving everything behind. What did you do? Everything that mattered was gone. <laughs> Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Okay, so after that part of the video, that's when my uh, mic started to have an audio crackling issue. And I just quickly resolved that. However, I didn't realize it until I was editing the video that I realized, oh no, it did crack. So um, I decided to go ahead and change up my settings. But unfortunately, um, I can only show you until that part because for the rest of that video, um, it wasn't, you can't really understand what I'm saying. So, um, but it wasn't that long left because after Days Gone, it was uh, Mortal Kombat 11, which is basically revealing some of the old characters that are coming back, like Shao Kahn and other characters like that. So, and that's basically um, the PlayStation's first episode of State of Play. As it is right now, it's not good. Um, there's a reason why the like and dislike ratio is like that. Um, like. It's basically comparable to um, GameStop TV whenever you go into a GameStop store, the, you have the TV somewhere near the count, near the um, checkout counter where they're basically like do their own little show, showcasing games and stuff like that. That's what it feels and sounds like. And yeah, it's kind of like how it feels and sounds like. It doesn't have the same flair as a Nintendo Direct is. And they've been copying Nintendo for quite some time. You know, the PlayStation Move, and now this. Ugh. Like, it, I think it. I think it's at the same, uh, same quality as their E3 conference last year. And we already know how well that went for them. So, and they're choosing to do this instead of going to E3. Like, I don't know how, where Sony can go. Like, Sony has been messing up more recently than ever before. Like, in terms of, like, quality issues. Now, in terms of their sales, their sales have been off the chart. But in terms of more quality issues, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry I had to cut that presentation reaction a little short. But I want to give out a good quality video than have a crackling audio issue in a video. Um, I want to rework all my quality issues to give out the best content that I can give to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Hashtiv and join my Discord server. And subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I'll catch you all next video.